Good morning, I'm Katherine Sorrell. And I'm Juwan Holder, welcoming you to our week's episode of Walk at News. Looking for some extracurricular activities to get involved in? Jamie Snover shares a variety of ideas. West Johnston offers an array of activities for students. We caught up with five different clubs to explain why you should join. Um, Spirit Club, it's just like, it's a chance for students to get together and come out and support our sports teams like football and volleyball and soccer and all them. Um, they should join it because it's a way to get together, to meet new friends, to you know support our school, and it's just a great function for us to be involved in. The Ethics and Leadership Club is basically a club where we teach each other how to lead each other and make ourselves better leaders. We do like a heart chase every year. Mr. Worley believes that the meetings will be every second Wednesday. We are a club that raises money for wetlands in Canada and northern parts of North America to um, basically rebuild environments for ducks to be able to live in. Ducks Unlimited Club is a really good club to join because you'll get to learn about wildlife, waterfowl, the habitats they stay in and how to take care of them and how to keep them from being destroyed. Dues are $15 to join. It's the National FFA Organization, the Future Farmers of America, and it's a chance for farmers, kids, and anyone who is interested in farmers to kind of get together and socialize and just kind of hang out and have fun. Everybody should join because it's a fun club and it teaches you a lot about leadership and it just helps you out in life a lot. The art club is the, uh, the club at school where we pretty much do anything art related. So it would be the tape murals or uh, set design or just different stuff like that and other stuff for events. If you like to do artsy stuff and be awesome at the same time, this is the club to join. <laughs> it's free to join at the moment, but there may be dues later on, but it would only be like five bucks. I'm Jamie Snover, Wildcat News. Thanks, Jamie. Over the summer, the dance team attended Edge Camp. Marissa Green gives us an inside look. Attending Edge Camp gave the team an opportunity to showcase their strengths and talents. Um, Edge Camp is a summer dance program that they hold every year at NC State. Basically what we do is we go for about three or four days and we um, train and learn a routine that we perform the final day in a competition against other high school dance teams. Um, this year was equally as successful as last year because last year we came home with a win for West Johnston and this year we did too. And it was a lot of fun and being my senior year I really enjoyed having that last experience at EDGE. As underclassmen join new teams, they gain their first time experience. My expectations for EDGE camp were really low because all the upperclassmen told me that it was really intense and that I was going to cry every night. but. I ended up not crying and I was super excited about that. I learned so much at Edge Camp. Um, the big thing for me was I broke out of my shell. I was really nervous because I had never done hip hop or anything but jazz and they taught me how to like just become a different person and just kind of do what the music, like the music just kind of takes over your body. In addition to Edge Camp, the team also attended Dance Machine Nationals competition. We prepared for the competition every day after school we would practice and also for a week during the summer we practiced. What it took to get to nationals was we had to go to a regional dance competition to get to the national dance competition. We won the competition and we got a 10 foot tall trophy that's in the office and it felt amazing. I'm Marissa Green, Wildcat News. Thanks Marissa. While some students watched Netflix all summer, others were much more productive. Eric Bean shows us how one senior spent her summer. Over the summer, Zofia Joukowsky, a dance team member, took a once-in-a-lifetime journey. I went to the Joffrey Ballet School in New York City, and I did it for a summer program for more dance. I was there for three weeks. The journey to Joffrey wasn't an easy one. I actually had to go to an audition in Charlotte, and what was there was classes that we had to take, and they did like a combo across the floor, and we had to do it, and then they emailed us three weeks later telling us what levels we were, if we got any scholarships, and stuff like that. Learning from professionals on Broadway and choreographers for Jay-Z and Beyonce, Sophia picked up many new things. Uh, basically the classes that we were learning were anything from jazz funk, jazz hip-hop, hip-hop, contemporary, ballet, modern, Horton, um, Pilates, even a little bit of hip or break dancing. Um, it was really cool getting to learn stuff from all the different types of teachers and it was cool being able to bring it back to West End, give it to some of the dance team girls and show them a little bit more of New York style. I'm Eric Bean, Wildcat News. Thanks, Eric. Kickstarting their season with a win, Brendan Boyd speaks about some of the team's strengths. Well, we have a new coach, C Coach A. 
um, great coach. He really pushes us at, at practice. And we expect to grow closer. He's really making us um, have more pride in soccer. Looking out to be the best in conference. A lot of the seniors and upperclassmen have a lot more passion than last year, and and they're a lot more. They have a lot more leadership. So I feel like that will affect team performance in the season. We're going to win more. We're going to be more comfortable with each other, and we're going to be more serious about the game back versus last year where. Nobody really, all we do is joke around and nobody really did anything serious in the practices and stuff. But all the people that come to our games are parents and that's not cool. We need students, so come on. We always like to have support. Um, we played Cleveland September 11th and October 2nd. You know, that's a really big game for us. So if everybody could come out and cheer us on, that'd be great. We're wishing you all the best of luck this season. So I didn't eat breakfast this morning and I'm a little hungry. Lucky for you, Jared and Ashlyn are in the kitchen. Let's see what's cooking. I am Jared Spann. And I'm Ashlyn Payne. And we're on the first episode of Cooking with Ashlyn. This is Ashlyn Payne. She's our editor and writer for Scratch Post and with her new blog about food. Uh, be sure to check that out on our link below. So what are we cooking today, Ashlyn? We're going to make French toast. Mmm, sounds good. <laughs> it's a good way to start off, kind of easy. Everyone can do it. All right. So let's start. Okay, so first we have our bread, and then we have two eggs, and then we have our vanilla extract and some cinnamon. Two-thirds cup of milk, and we got our whisker, we got tablespoon measure, some syrup, and cooking spray. All right. So uh, and there we go. Okay. Now do one tablespoon of uh, vanilla. vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. so a tablespoon. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just put that aside. And you are now the whisker. Ooh, whisk it, whisk it real good. Okay. Whole wheat. Yeah. It's my mom. All right. All right. We're going to dip All this right. in. It's kind of messy. That good? Yep. All right. Lay it on there. All right. Flip it one last time. All right. Almost done. Let me get the plate. All right. Good. Ready to serve. All right. Keep going, I like a lot of sugar. <laughs> Got that sweet tooth? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Bon appetit. Good? So good. Think you can make it on your own? Yeah, I think so. That concludes this week's episode of Cooking with Ashlyn. I'm Jarrett Spann. And I'm Ashlyn Payne. We'll see you later. Bye. Thanks, Jarrett. Many freshmen have a hard time starting high school because they either came from a different school and don't know anybody or they have no friends. The Do Something Club came up with a way to help those students by creating the freshman mentoring. President of the club, Carly Bird, tells us more. And the main goal is to basically make freshmen feel more comfortable in high school because it's such a big change in their lives. Um, I came up with the idea because when I was a freshman, I came from Four Oaks, so I didn't know anybody. And it was a really difficult change for me because I was walking around with like a thousand other kids and I didn't um, recognize anybody. So I figured if we had a mentor program, they'd at least have one person that they knew that they could talk to. Aaron Flynn gives background information about freshman mentoring. The mentoring program, it's you'll get on a Google Doc and you'll kind of type in your name, choose an interest of yours, and you'll get a mentor assigned to you that's from that club or group or whatever you choose. That's all for us this week. If you have any story ideas, comments, or suggestions, please email us at wjstudentmedia at gmail.com. I'm Katherine Sorrell. And I'm Juwan Holder. Thanks for watching and have a great day.